EA Sports. It's in the game. What is up, Madden NFL 12 fans? S. Gibbs here from PrimaMadden.com to talk to you today about one of the most overlooked aspects in the game, and that would be pass protection. Here we're taking a look at the gun tight doubles on Texan Cross. Uh, we're going to show you how it's effective against any man play in the game, but also what we would do if we face pressure left or right from this formation. Now here, just running through the different reads of this play, the far left wide receiver, that wheel route by Nelson, pretty easy to complete upfield. Uh, now we have the uh, underneath mesh concept with the dual drags by Jennings in our tight end. They would deliver the ball to Jennings for an easy 4-5 uh, yard completion. This time we're going to deliver the ball to Corliss as he breaks over the left part of the field. Uh, inside lead pass there to Corliss. We don't click on, we just let the computer make the catch. This time we're going to look to target Jeremichael Finley deep downfield. High lead pass, click on, make the catch. Jeremichael Finley's a B, 6-5, 95 jump. Can, great beat press, also has great catch in traffic. Mm -hmm. So what happens though when you start facing pressure? So now the defense this time, uh, is in, they're going to mix it up, play a little zone coverage, and send pressure off the right edge. Now if our read isn't correct, we're going to be able to, we're going to get sacked instantly. Now you can see, yes, the flat was open, but we weren't ready. We weren't ready for that pressure. Uh, we could use slide protection, but what would happen is that weak side pressure would come in off that left edge. So we need to be able to signal out our pass protection scheme here and take a look at our, our offense and see who can we block. So if we're facing pressure off the right edge, we can have two options. We can block our halfback or we can block our tight end. Now, most cases I like to say block the tight end first. As you'll see, our tight end Corliss is on the line of scrimmage. That literally look, makes like a six-man offensive line when you block Corliss there. You have uh, your five offensive linemen, and then you have Corliss, who's down in a, a, a offensive lineman blocking stance. So here, the pressure is going to be set up again. Same style pressure to come off that right edge. But Corliss is going to stand up that defensive end, stick him in, right in the belly, and not allow the, the pressure to get in. That gives us time in the pocket to deliver the ball to Sane out in the flat. Here's the instant replay again. You can see Corliss does a nice job containing that pressure. We are able to hang in the pocket and make the read and get the easy completion to Sane in the flat. Now blocking your halfback is a good option, but a lot of times what will happen is what you'll see right here on this play. The DN is going to come free, he's going to be in an easy matchup. A bigger defensive player against a smaller offensive player equals a win for the defense. As you see Brandon Sane here just gets completely destroyed by the defensive end and the DN gets to the quarterback for an easy sack. So just be careful on blocking your halfback. He will chip the defender, but a lot of times he will let them in. Um, as uh, with a bull rush by the defense. So if we take a look at now pressure off the left edge, we needed again to decide, uh, looking at our offense, well, who can we block on the left side of the field? We can either block Jordy Nelson or Greg Jennings. Greg Jennings is closer to the line of scrimmage, so to us that means that we want to block him. He's more similar to uh, where Corliss is uh, on the opposite side of the field. So this time we're going to block Jennings, and we should get the same result that we did before when we block Corliss. We should be able to pick up the pressure, hang in the pocket, and deliver the ball to an easy read. Here we see the flats open. We have enough time in the pocket and deliver the pass for the big gain. Here it is again. Instant replay shows you that Greg Jennings does a nice job, chips the defender pretty easily there, uh, and we're able to deliver the ball. The most important part about pass protection in Madden NFL 12 is to identify offensive players that you can block, as we did today in the video, that won't affect the overall effectiveness of the offensive play. So make sure you take a look at your favorite formations and figure it out for yourself. Also, guys, make sure to tune in every Wednesday on PrimaMadden.com. This Week in Madden, show number 61 coming up, 8.30 p.m. Eastern. We'll see you on Wednesday.